California spotted owls are one of three spotted owl subspecies along with the northern and Mexican spotted owls. They average 19 inches in length with a 40 inch wingspan and weigh in at just under a pound and a half. The owls are primarily nocturnal hunters whose main prey consists of northern flying squirrels and dusky footed wood rats. Found in mixed conifer forests and oak woodlands, the owls are non-migratory, although they often move to lower elevations in the winter. The owls are habitat specialists that typically nest in cavities and broken tops of large trees. They inhabit areas with high canopy cover, large trees, mixed vertical structure, and some open areas for hunting. They communicate using a wide array of vocalizations, primarily a four-note call. The goal of the SNAP owl team is to assess what impacts fuels treatments have on owls. Treatments consist of tree thinning, mastication, and low intensity prescribed fires, all used in conjunction to reduce the threat of high intensity wildfires. So for the SNAP owl team, uh, there are three demographic parameters uh, that we're uh, primarily going to measure. Uh, the three parameters are occupancy, survival, and reproduction. Occupancy simply refers to whether an, an owl is present or not at a, on a particular uh, portion of the landscape. Uh, in, in this case, we're looking at owl territories uh, because owls show high site fidelity and return to the same breeding locations year after year. Um, adult survival is simply the probability of whether an owl survives from one year to the next. And reproduction would be uh, the number of the mean number of young produced by owls at different locations. From April to August each year, the owl team surveys study sites to detect and identify owls and determine their reproductive status. When unbanded owls are detected, they are captured and banded with unique color-coded bands for later resighting and monitoring. As part of SNAP, scientists are investigating the uses of LIDAR, or light detection and ranging, in providing detailed information on how forest habitat is affected by fuels management treatments across a large landscape. Mapping forest structure can illustrate how a forest influences surface hydrology, provides for wildlife, or how a forest might burn given certain weather and wind patterns. Detailed measurements can be extracted from LIDAR point clouds, such as the detection and delineation of individual trees. Large residual trees are of particular importance to spotted owls because they provide suitable nesting and roosting habitat. We can now use LIDAR to identify residual trees across large spatial scales, which should greatly improve our spotted owl habitat maps. Survival and occupancy are key parameters in estimating trends in owl populations and can be influenced by fuels treatments. Survival and occupancy are also affected by factors such as winter weather, the availability of food, and the amount of suitable habitat. The SNAP owl team is evaluating the use of survival and occupancy data as a long-term owl monitoring tool.